Hey man, I'm not Matthew Santoro. I know what y'all thinking. You like, dude, you doing reaction to like mythos type stuff? I know that's Matthew Santoro. That's the type of videos he react to. But look, man, we about to check out. This is what will happen in the next 100 trillion years, man. I got C to G here. We about to check this shit out. I want to see what the hell they're talking about, man. Yeah. They just their opinion. That's their opinion. You know, they just, it's not fact, but this is what they think. This is a video by Real Life Lore, a possible high skill share, home to over 16,000 classes that can teach you a new life skill. The first 500 people to sign up using the link in the description will get a two month free trial. In a previous video I made, I discussed several events that will happen in our world and our universe over the course of the next billion years. Wait, what? Will go on for much. You know how much time it is, y'all? That's a lot of fucking time. Come out. What you got? That's a lot of time, bro. Well, he said he made it. Uh, previous video I made, I discussed several events that will happen in our world and our universe over the course of the next billion years. But time will go on for much, much longer than just one billion years. So what will happen after a billion years has passed from today? By the time a billion years has passed from today, the Earth will already be unrecognizable. Due to the sun's increasing luminosity, the average surface temperature will have increased to 47 degrees what? Celsius. The oceans will have already evaporated away, and liquid water will only exist at the poles, which will become the final bastions of life on our planet. But time will continue onwards. In 1.5 billion years, the sun's luminosity will have caused its habitable zone to move outwards further into the solar system. That makes the sense. I see what people are saying. Because Mars might become the new Earth during the last think. ice age and would make a good home for any future advanced civilizations. In 2.3 billion years from now, the outer liquid core of Earth will freeze, which means that Earth will lose its magnetic field oh, forever. Man. By 2.8 billion years, Earth's average surface temperature will have dramatically increased to 100 oh, hey, degrees hey, no. Celsius. <laughs> which means that even what, 300 Fahrenheit with it, this death is still completely died out. For the first time in billions of years, Earth will be devoid of any life. In 3.3 billion years, there is a 1% chance that Mercury's orbit will become unstable, which will cause it to collide with Venus, obliterating Damn. both planets and throwing the inner solar system into chaos. In 3.5 billion years, the sun's velocity will have increased by 40% of its present what? value. Earth's surface temperature will have skyrocketed to roughly 1,300 it's basically burning at this point. It's basically hell at that point. Earth at this point in time will very closely resemble Venus during our own time. And in 4 billion years from now, our entire galaxy will change dramatically. The Andromeda galaxy, which is even bigger than our own galaxy. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what I thought was weird. Mass, the newest Mass Effect was based on the real when galaxy. They finally collide, I was like, why they do that shit? That's why they so good. Merging together to form one united galaxy. And the next Hey. will look far more dramatic than anything we see in our own form galaxy the is here. In 5 billion years, the sun will have exhausted its supply of hydrogen and will begin to evolve into its red giant phase. Much later, in 7.59 billion years from now, the sun will have expanded dramatically to 256 times its current yeah. size, That's and crazy. the moon may fall apart and rain down onto the Earth's molten surface. By 7.9 billion down. years from now, Mercury, <laughs> Venus, and most likely Earth will be totally swallowed by the sun and cease to exist. During these times, however, no. it is hypothesized that a moon of Saturn named Titan could achieve surface temperature warm enough to support life. Which means that yeah. as the sun grows we ain't the ain't been a Saturn. on Earth could really We ain't gonna never get the Saturn on the thing. <laughs> but after 8 billion years, the sun will have finally become a white dwarf star equal to 54% of its current mass. Temperatures inside of the solar system will plummet afterwards. Hey, the number of years in the future Why? will now begin to dramatically. <laughs> 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 what? Uh, 
right, let's keep going. Sorry about that. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Come on, man. Yo. That's the weird. increase, and we'll start by going 100 <laughs> billion years into the future. By this point, the expansion of the universe will have pushed everything outside of our small local group of galaxies far enough away that nobody here will be able to observe them anymore. Any intelligent beings that may exist here at this point will believe that they are at the center of the universe in a small That's what your dad was telling me when I talked to him on Twitter. He said one day the Earth ain't gonna be around here no more. Do not be he true. said we ain't gonna see in our lifetime. Nobody will have any way of proving this to be incorrect, which will likely have a profound impact on the philosophy he said this and culture. Is not forever. In 450 billion years, the 47 different galaxies of the local group will have further coalesced oh, together into a single gigantic galaxy, and that feeling of loneliness will be even further amplified. All the way yeah, until 4 trillion years from now, the closest star to Earth named Proxima Centauri b will have survived. But afterwards, this ancient star will finally die, just as the sun did trillions of years before it. Finally, 12 trillion years from now, the last star that exists today, alongside dream, you bro. watching this video, will have died out. The universe will be full of new stars born after our present age, but even these will not last That's forever. crazy, bro, because like, there's so much going on even after we die. We only live a hundred years. Universe will die out. I said we even live that. that will still oh God, what they put in this food. This will be white dwarfs, neutron stars, brown dwarfs, and black holes. Occasional <laughs> collisions between brown dwarfs could continue to create new red dwarf stars in this era, but they will be extremely rare. Because of these collisions, there may exist around 100 red dwarf stars in the entire Milky Way galaxy at this point. A galaxy which today is home to over 100 billion different stars. But oh, yeah. even these final stars I will swear. eventually die. Space is like one of those things we never gonna be able to understand. Afterwards. 120 trillion just, years though is just a what it is. <laughs> Humanity has plenty of time to enjoy the majesty of our universe before the lights finally turn off. I swear. I've heard from a lot of people before how I create these nah, videos. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Hey, I can't I can predict the future, but this boy, hey, you better be waiting for it. It's, it's coming though. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if, y'all, if up, YouTube's bro. still around, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know how many years from now. And y'all stumble on this video. Let me tell y'all something. We long dead. Y'all better enjoy life. Because, bro, the, the earth is heating up for real. It ain't even no game. Look, like, bro, it's hot as hell outside, bro. I just came from work. Bro, my skull was burning, nigga. <laughs> it's hot, bro. In Arkansas, how the hell is it hot in Arkansas than it is in Mississippi? When I was in Mississippi, Mississippi is closer to the ocean. Man, it was what? 80 something degrees down in Mississippi. It was like 90 here, bro. It was 90 here. Yeah. How? Yeah, I think it's the water. Like that water gets in the moist it moistures the air, it probably lowers the Man, temperature. That bro. shit, bro. Yeah. They gotta it feel like hell here, bro. They better do something about it, cause man, that sun is getting hotter and hotter. It's not gonna stop either. What? Yeah, I'm gonna find another planet. <laughs> shit is on its way. Well, hey, I'll be dead for them, bro. Yeah, we be dead before. Uh, man, make sure y'all subscribe to watch our legacy, you know what I'm saying, before this planet burn the hell up. <laughs> make sure y'all subscribe. To yeah, go get, the, go get the subscribe button, man. Go, go boost me up. Show me some love. Make sure you subscribe to me, too. You know, I'm trying to stay boosted, you know what I'm saying? And anyway, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you just, you know, like it up. Well, like, like every video, bro. What you waiting man, for? Man, you know, you turn your notifications on, man. We have some new, you know, coming every day. At so, least one. I did the, uh, my tried, I test tried uh, NBA Live 18 earlier today. Go, go check that out, man. I did, like, uh, I'm going to take, I might del I may delete the little screen, the photos, I mean, videos or whatnot, but it's, like, 18. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 about wraps it up, man. Right. So peace. <laughs>